hey guys so welcome back to another video so guys unfortunately i'm not gonna be able to do a video on how to install this ssd so so sorry about that but guys in this video i'm gonna be showing you how you can install a ram uh, to your laptop uh, so guys um, today i have an 8gb ddr4 ram so guys um, let's see how to install this so guys um, before we get started um, if you guys haven't still subscribed my channel please subscribe my channel it would be a great help um, if we can hit 300 subscribers so um, please help me reach 300 subscribers um, so guys uh, let's install the memory alright so guys now I'm gonna close every tab I'm gonna shut down my laptop Alright, so guys, now my laptop is uh, completely shut down. Now I'm gonna turn this on. I'm gonna remove every single USB, my hard drive, the USB for my wireless mouse. Now I'm gonna turn it over. Alright, so guys, now here I'm gonna take my screwdriver. I'm gonna change the bit to this. Alright, so now guys. Um, if your laptop has any hidden screws, uh, make sure you um, know where the screws are hidden and where there are not hidden um, screws in your laptop. So in my one, um, after I remove these three screws, I'm going to have to take out my DVD um, drive and then under that I have some hidden screws. So let's first remove this. So one screw removed, second one also done, third one, fourth one. Alright, so now I'm going to untie here. Alright, so now I'm going to take out my DVD. This screw out also. Alright, so now I took out my DVD drive. Alright, so here are the two hidden screws. If you'll take the cover without this uh, removing, well, then you're gonna snap this part. So now I'm gonna remove this too. Make sure you don't lose them because you're gonna have to put them back in. Alright, so I'm gonna unscrew single thing So now since my um, screwdriver has a magnetic tip, uh, tip on it, it's very easy for me to take them out. Alright, 
taped it. We can see our SSD slot, our hard drive, uh, where, our, where our DVD was. Here's our RAM, here's our CPU, here's our heatsink. Alright, so now, alright, so now what we are gonna do is we're gonna unbox this thing. Alright, I'm gonna take the memory out. Alright, so now in my um, laptop you can see that I'm, I'm going to take this out. Alright, so now this is my original RAM which was installed on this and this is the RAM that I'm going to install. So I'm thinking about installing both of them um, and keeping both inside the laptop because um, I want more memory to edit on um, Premiere Pro so you all can see my original one and the bought one this one is black color this one is green color so not much of a difference uh, since they are both DDR4 this is 4GB this is 8GB so now um, I'm gonna install my original one back into place alright so there it was get that click alright now this one install that into the slot get that click all right so now that we have done that we don't need this all right so i'm gonna take it inside all right so now we're gonna put this back inside all right get that click So we get that click. I'm gonna take on this install back my screws. Now guys when you're installing this if you install a long screw on a place like um, somewhere over here um, the screw is gonna come out from the other side so you must um, be um, you must um, check where it was before and then installed it all right so you see all right so now i'm gonna get all the screws i'm gonna first of all install these two them to install another one more all right now we're gonna install these screws
so now alright so now I'm gonna remove this screw because I have to install my DVD that hand I'm gonna add the screw in my Alright, now I'm going to tighten the screws just to make sure that everything is there correctly tightened. Now that everything is in, we're gonna flip back the computer. I'm gonna open it up. Alright, so now let's turn on my computer. Alright. Now I'm gonna plug in the charger. Alright, so guys. The screen went black and the problem was that the RAM was changed so it did not turn on. So I took out the original RAM and put back uh, the AGB RAM. So now let's click continue. Alright so now it's booting up. So now let's check um, what's happening. So now as you all can see. I have removed the case and only this part is on so this is the part so I just took out the uh, the rest part and kept that there so let's just see what's gonna happen all right now it's on my boot up screen lock screen so now I'm gonna connect my wireless mouse all right so I connected that all right mouse working I'm just gonna give it some time because this is the first time I'm adding an HGB RAM all right refreshing works now let's go to task manager and see how it is all right task manager performance all right so we can see that the 8 gb ram is installed so that we can see now that two percent um two point zero gb is all right so now i took the camera over here now we can see that only 1.5 GB is used from 7.8. Alright, so now let's first task manager open up Premiere Pro and see how it does. So now I open up this PC just to check the speed. Alright, so I'm gonna launch Premiere Pro now. I think it's already launching task manager the premiere pro is launching all right so now it's launching i think i'm i'm gonna have to reinstall windows to this since i have changed the ram and now it's gonna take some time to even get to the windows to the brute screen so 
so I'm gonna have to reinstall Windows, I think. Alright, now we can see Premiere Pro launched. I'm gonna create a new project and I'm gonna see how it is. Alright. Alright, so now we can see Premiere Pro is using. 32% of the RAM. Alright, so now um, since this is working, I'm gonna exit from Premiere Pro. I'm gonna shut down my laptop. And I'm gonna um, put back I'm gonna put back the RAM and everything. The original RAM as well. Wait until this remove USB right flip my laptop right, so now I'm gonna install this into this now I'm gonna um, install this to the B section so I have installed the 8 GB RAM to the A section I'm gonna install the 4 GB one to the B section Alright, now that it's installed, we're gonna turn it back on and see how it goes. Alright, so I'm gonna plug in the charger, give it some time to load. Alright, so now it took like 10 seconds to load. So I think it's because of the change of the RAM. So I'm gonna let it load. I'm gonna reinstall Windows. Alright, so now we can see. We can see right over here. Um, warning message alert the amount of system memory has been changed. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on that continue button alright so now I'm gonna plug in my wireless mouse right, it's plugged in it's kind of alright so I'm gonna just use the mouse pad click continue Get some time to get to the boot screen, everything. I think I'm gonna have to reinstall Windows because when I had the 4GB RAM, it just only took 45 seconds to get to the desktop. I don't know why it's taking so much time. Alright, we are on the desktop. It's taking some time. Go to task manager and now I'm going to check the system performance. Alright, now we can see that 11 GB of RAM is installed, so total it's 12, 4 plus 8 is 12. So you can see that two of our slots are being used, two of two are being used. Now let's go launch Premiere Pro. Before we launch Premiere Pro, I don't know why my disk usage is going from 0 to 100. 
uh, it was never like this before it was just at like seven percent to eight nineteen something over there i don't know why it's going up to hundred percent so that might be one reason that my premiere pro starts crashing when i added the ramp so i'm gonna launch premiere pro So far no crashes, no lagging in Premiere Pro, so I hope after I reinstall Windows, it's gonna be very fast, I'm gonna create a new project or just load a new one, so I'm just gonna go to new project, I'm gonna just type something and click OK. Um, it seems that nothing's happening, no res not responding signs. Mm. Right, so we successfully um, got Premiere Pro to launch. And no lagging, nothing, so let's check if I can use Chrome Premiere Pro at the same time. YouTube and minimize this go to import project install Microsoft motion drag it and drop it so far guys I'm um, now nothing has crashed yet so after I reinstall Windows, I think it's gonna be better. All right, so guys, then um, I'm happy that my Premiere Pro is good to go. I can edit simply. So guys, um, this is a video on how to install RAM. Went pretty good, and. Um, so guys, um, that's how you install RAM. So guys, next time I'm gonna show, bring a video on how to use Premiere Pro. So it's been pre-recorded, so I've just got to um, edit it and finish adding effects and everything. So guys, um, Premiere Pro is launching correctly, Photoshop is good. So guys then um, the video is going great. So guys then um, then that's it for today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did please make sure to leave a comment and subscribe to my channel. So guys um, that's it. I'm gonna go start editing.